Hey, Stephen Lauren. Yeah, part of the reason we wanted to talk to Congressman Nickel today is because he's not running for re-election in November since his district was redrawn. So the stakes for him are a little different than others who were sitting in that meeting. The big thing I got from our conversation today is that Democrats are united in their goal, but not in their strategy to winning the White House in November. After stumbles on the debate stage and concerns about President Biden's fitness for a second term, calls for him to end his bid for re-election are growing. A sit-down interview with ABC News about those concerns late last week did not calm those calls for him to step aside. In fact, a seventh sitting Democrat called for President Biden to bow out of the November election today after a closed-door meeting among Democrats on Capitol Hill. North Carolina Congressman Wiley Nickel was part of that meeting, and I asked him if folks inside echoed similar calls for Biden to end his campaign. Certainly, you know, there a lot of people, you know, it's a diverse uh, Democratic caucus in Congress, a great discussion. It's important that we, we we talk about the best path forward. But Joe Biden's the Democratic nominee. He's got my support. And I want to make sure we do all we can to, to ensure that he can beat Donald Trump in this next election. Despite that, it's clear there are concerns about Biden moving forward. When I pressed Congressman Nickel on how that could impact Democrats down the ballot in North Carolina, this was his response. I would... Um, much rather be talking about uh, Donald Trump's plans to cut taxes for corporations and the wealthy. I think that's where the focus ought to be instead of uh, uh, the, this constant talk about Biden's age. But, uh, you know, my focus is just making the case for, for why uh, Donald Trump should uh, not get our support in North Carolina. As we know, Joe Biden narrowly lost North Carolina back in 2020. Frequent high profile visits in recent months show the Biden campaign is trying to turn the Tar Heel state blue in November. We are a close state. We are a, 50, a, a true purple state. Biden only lost the state by a point and a half four years ago. I think we've moved a point and a half more towards the center. So it's going to be close. And now I did ask Congressman Nickel point blank if he thinks Joe Biden can beat Donald Trump at this point. He says absolutely. But today's meeting is another indicator that not all Democrats share that opinion.